Hello everyone, this is Steven from the Even Steven channel, and today we're taking a look at the Bushnell Outdoorsman. Uh, so this is a Bluetooth speaker, combination Bluetooth speaker and charger. This is built for the outdoors. We've got uh, some kind of magnet mount. Drop proof, six feet. What kind of stuff we got going on in here? Ten hour battery life. Bit strap. Okay, I don't know what that means. Charge cell phone two, three times. Um, so waterproof? Ah, water resistant. Okay, very good. All right. So I got this an interesting way. Um, I really didn't order this. It's kind of just given to me. I'm not sure what the strap thing is. Um, so I ordered something from Target Sports USA. Target Sports USA, I think is a moderately well-known online retailer of ammunition. They're based in Connecticut. And because I live in New Jersey, they're relatively close to me. And sometimes I can get stuff from Target Sports USA in as little as one day. Uh, full disclosure, they didn't give me anything. They don't know I'm making this video. Target Sports USA, they don't know I'm making this video. They didn't give me anything for it. Just so you know. And I joined their, like, Ammo Plus Buyers Club membership. And I guess when you join the Buyers Club, they send you a gift. And they sent me this in the mail. Now, I'm going to preface it by saying, just because you join their Buyers Club doesn't mean they're going to give you this. However, I did. They give you some kind of free gift. And I guess I kind of just lucked out and got a nicer one. Because this Bushnell Outdoorsman retails for, like, $80. And the Buyers Club membership is, like, 90 or $100. dollars so basically, just by getting this, I kind of already got my money back. Now, I've not opened it. Let's see, I got my... Okay. Uh, Swedish knife here. You'd think this knife would be longer because of the sheath it's in, but... Um, it's covered in the tape and glue from other stuff I've opened up. I have not opened this up yet, so let's take a look inside. Okay, I don't want to damage anything. Okay. Pretty low pressure casual review because not really serious about a speaker. However, I did I do have it because I have it. I'm gonna make a video about it. And I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride, and if you wanna come along, you can. Be careful not to cut myself as I'm coming towards myself. It's gonna come out now. Oh, there we go. Cover's gone. Actually, that's a, an even nicer... Wow, well, okay. I think this is a nicer... than the cover. Oh, okay. Congrats on your new Bushnell Outdoors... So I have never opened this before, so I'm kind of looking along with you. Step one, make sure your outdoors are within 10 meters. Uh, press the power button to hear a ringing tone. For the Bluetooth setting on your pull device. Uh-huh. Seems pretty straightforward. How to put the exo armor on your outdoorsman. So it looks like you kind of uh, stretch it over. This is pretty nice. Again, this is like a. I kind of just lucked out and got this from Target Sports USA. Maybe I should have turned around and sold this, but I kind of liked it. I thought I'd keep it. Alright, looks pretty simple controls. Power like, like up down, play, power. D ring there. A couple speakers. The bite. This the bite str I don't know how that works. Okay. I guess if you were charging something, you charge it from here. Uh, if you were charging this itself. Charge from there, and I can't get it out. Okay. Looks like a mini USB port. So that's it. What else we got in the box? So that. Okay, that's that. Uh, includes micro USB cable. Nice. Uh, the Exo Armor, the bite strap, and the manual.
Okay, this is the strap. So this magnetic is that we're going for? Okay, it is magnetic. It's magnetic, and you could tie this onto something, and you can kind of hang it off. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe don't move around too much. All right, make sure it's centered on there well, and make sure. Okay, there we go. All right, that's good. All right, it works. It works. Okay. Uh, it's supposed to be a manual in here. Is the manual there? Oh, there is, there's a manual. Alright, so this is all looking pretty well and good. Uh, now, what I don't know is I don't know if this is charged. If it's not charged, I might have to like cut away and, and come back in a couple hours. Uh, let's see if, it's, if there's enough uh, battery life in here. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, let me see. Let me give my phone here. Let me see if I could, uh, without wasting too much time. If I could find something. So now this is just uh, my phone. Hmm. I don't see anything that says bush now. Hit the scan button, see if we can find something. Okay, I'm just gonna stop a minute. Hmm, not bother you with all this. I'm just gonna do a little, little break and I'll come back in a second. Okay, and we're back. So here we go, we got the Bushnell Outdoorsman. Um, and I didn't see this when I hit the button. So this is flashing red. I'm going to assume that means the power is the battery's dead, even though it's tied, it's going to flash like that. So we're going to charge it with the uh, micro USB charger. That's not the it's not the speaker's fault. Just battery's dead. I got the center knot. Okay, should be charging now. Still. Okay, that sounds better. Okay, it's not flashing red. Okay, so we're just, you know, to be fair, uh, you know, I just got it, just opened it up, and I, I assumed they would have some kind of charge to it left. But uh, I did not. It's not its fault. Who knows how long it was sitting around in a warehouse, so. We'll give the Bushnell Outdoorsman the benefit of the doubt. Start scanning for devices. Huh? Okay. Scanning for devices. I see a TV. I see some stuff. Okay, I do not see. Okay. It's supposed to say like Bushnell Outdoorsman. Oh, I see it. Outdoorsman on my phone. Pair with Outdoorsman. Pair. Oh, okay. All right. So ahead of time, I uh, picked out this. This is just royalty free music. So that hey everyone, this is Steven. Um, so sorry for the brief interruption there. So I had made this video yesterday. Today is Monday. I had made this video on Sunday. I posted it Monday morning, and I thought everything was fine because you you know when you upload a video to YouTube, they actually check it. It's like yeah, your video is good. I actually got like a copyright claim of the, the how exactly you describe it. 
But basically what I had done was I just went on YouTube and I just said, oh yeah, royalty fee music, use that. And I, I grabbed the first song that I could find. And they claimed it was their song. And as it was their song, which it was, uh, any revenue money that I got we should go to them. So I was like, no. So uh, I've cut off part the end of this, the original video. Uh, what I was doing was I was working on uh, syncing the the my phone to this speaker. You know, it says it's called the Outdoorsman. My father has a Ford F F one fifty. Um, so I have it synced now. You might have to turn the hit the power button so that it's coming up properly on your on your Bluetooth. I'm now going to switch to YouTube's own royalty free music, and I will now test out the speaker here. There we go. It's a little loud. Turn it down just a tad. And like I noted in my original video, I'm sure, yeah, I'm only getting sound out of this side. Maybe even specifically this speaker. But I'm only getting, it sounds like only sounds coming out of this side, uh, not of this side. So I don't know if that's just for decoration Maybe or if that. Or if this should be working, it's not. Because typically when someone does something like this, they're going to use their phone connecting to a Bluetooth speaker. That's really how you're going to connect it. So I don't know if that's a, a different between um, stereo and, you know, one channel versus two channels. I'm not sure what's going on. However, uh, ignoring that, assuming that this is working properly, this is the one speaker supposed to come out of, that sounds pretty good. You know, up, down. As I noted in my original video, uh, if you hit this button, it should pause it. Uh, it is not. Because this is not coming from uh, YouTube, this is coming from uh, a file I downloaded. However, if you were listening to a YouTube video, and you hit the power button, uh, not the power button, the play button, it would pause for you. However, just the way I'm doing it right now, it's not working. But on YouTube, that will pause things, and I guess other applications, it will pause things, but it's not working with this functionality right now. And yeah, that was it. Uh, unfortunately, I had to do that stupid thing where I had to re-upload my video because someone claimed uh, the song was theirs and then I don't get any money for it. Not that this was going to get that with so many views anyway, but man, that, that was just a pain. I had to redo this video or part of this video. And, you know, just looking it over... This was sitting here overnight. It was just charging, so now it should be fully charged. Uh, it looks good. I'm going turn, turn, turn this off. Hold on. Okay, there's that sound again. Oh, now, and then it picked up on my phone when I turned it off. So yeah, for what it's intended to be, it seems to be fine. It is, you know, a Bluetooth speaker that kind of doubles as a battery. For you charging your phone and stuff like that. It seems fine. The strap looks good. Uh, I didn't realize it, but it, it would seem, I didn't think of it in the original video, but it seemed like it would make, make more sense if you if you didn't have it on this side, you had it on this side, so it would have a more um, stronger connection. My heater kicking on. Uh, yeah, it's still definitely a little stronger there. In fact, oh, pretty strong. And you have the, you know, rubber cover. And remember in my original video, I said, do you really, are you really going to use this? Are you really going to put this on top of this? Is that practical I don't know maybe I might put this on I got it but I feel like it adds a connection because you know this button doesn't it, it doesn't feel all that positive so now you put this thing on top of it and I don't know uh, I don't know if this is a really good idea but uh, I'll probably put it on and what should have been uh, in these video has now gotten longer so uh, I'm sorry about that uh, but yeah, the Bushnell Outdoorsman Bluetooth speaker seems pretty good for what it is. I'm not sure if it's worth $80. However, I didn't pay for it, so I don't care as much. But if you get a good deal on it, yeah, pick it up. Pick up the, the Bushnell Outdoorsman. From what I can see so far, it looks good. So anyway, thank you. This is Steven from the Even Steven channel. Sorry for that might have, uh, minor, minor, minor little hitch there where I had to redo the last of this video to avoid copyright problems. But it is what it is. So please do all that like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.